Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today I'm going to tell you about 11 must-haves to start your quilting journey and all of the things I'm going to show you and tell you about we sell here in the sewing studio and the links for the items will be in the description below. And if you stay tuned until the very end, I will give you one final bonus tip. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is some fabric. So if you're a beginner, I would recommend buying one of these little fabric packs of fat quarters to get you started. You will of course need a sewing machine as well, but the other things you're going to need are a good quality cotton thread, and my preference is always Gutemann, and choose a neutral thread because that will blend with any colour. You're going to need some pins, and I would recommend some good quality pins. Let me just open these so I can show you. And these are flat headed pins, which are perfect for your patchwork and quilting. You're also going to need, dare I say it, an unpicker. We always need an unpicker. So the other thing you're going to need in the small tool section is a pair of snips. And this is great because we don't want lots of loose threads coming through our work. So snips. Then we're going to need a rotary cutter. And I would always advise to buy the best you can afford. I bought one of these rotary cutters when I first started and I've still got the same one. So go for the best quality that you can afford when you're starting out. You're going to need a cutting mat. And as you can see, I've got a big cutting mat here and that will cut Okay, I can use this to cut any size fabric, but as a beginner, you can get these nice small cutting mats. So I would recommend you get yourself a cutting mat. Again, the biggest you can afford to buy, but the small one's absolutely fine. You're also going to need a ruler. And again, I recommend buying the long ruler. You can buy lots of small rulers, but the first ruler I bought was a six inch by 24 inches. This one's six and a half by 24 and it is just the best. I use it all the time. We're also going to need some binding clips and I just love these. So let's open these and I'm just gonna show you these little clips. And they're great for if you don't want to use a pin for holding two pieces of fabric together or when you've got all your shapes cut out. You put them together to hold your pieces together before you sew them. And they're great for binding as well when you get to that part of your quilt. And I just love them because they're pretty colours. You will also need a pressing mat. I'll just move those over there. So you'll need a pressing mat. And I favour these woolen pressing mats because the heat comes from both sides. The, the wool allows the heat to come up and you get nice flat seams. And of course, if you've got a pressing mat, you will need an iron. Again, a nice little travel iron, ideal to have next to your machine so that when you're sewing, you can stop and then do your little bit of pressing. So they would be the top things I would suggest. I'm just gonna give you a little bonus here. So where did I put it? As a beginner starting out, a charm pack is perfect because the squares have already been cut for you. So you've got 42 five inch squares and you can just join all of those together and it makes a gorgeous little lap quilt or baby quilt. And that's a really good tip. When I teach classes, I always recommend that my beginners start with charm squares. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful to get you started on your quilting journey. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time here in the sewing studio.